Need easy keto dinner inspiration? I got you covered. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is a what's for dinner. I haven't done a what's for dinner in a hot second, but I absolutely love making these videos to share with you guys what we put on the dinner table each and every night and how we make keto super easy for the entire family. So I'm gonna take you through Monday through Sunday and show you what we had for dinner each and every night, show you where I got some of these recipes, how to make some of these items, throughout the video and we're also going to include a carb cycling day on Sunday for my carb cycling cyclical keto peeps or my non keto peeps watching. Monday night's dinner for freezer challenge week two we are doing barbecue ground pork over cornbread with green beans. Doesn't that just scream comfort food? And I am a totally here for it. So this is the easiest thing ever. I've got two pounds of ground pork. This is nothing but ground pork. It doesn't have anything else in it, guys. So clean from Imperfect Foods. I will have them linked down below because you'll get $20 off your very first order if they are available in your area. Highly, highly recommend them for everything. They're amazing. I'm just going to add some Redmond's Real Salt, organic garlic pepper, and that's it, frying and browning it up. Then I'm gonna drain it, and we're gonna add some of this Primal Kitchen classic barbecue sauce, another super clean barbecue sauce. I like Alterna Sweets as well, but I have a bunch of this, and I'm trying to use it up. The cornbread is Dat Keto Ladies cornbread muffins that I just made into regular cornbread and added jalapenos. We're gonna slice a piece, and then we're gonna pour the barbecue pork on top of it. And then we're gonna make some green beans. I'm gonna put some butter, onions, and some bacon pieces in a pan, Throw these in there, yes, frozen. We're gonna cook them up and it's gonna be delicious with some avocado on the side. avocado tonight but I've got one piece of cornbread that I cut in half I piled the barbecue pork on there little parsley green beans and that is Monday's dinner Tuesday night's dinner we are making a recipe that I have not tried yet from the easy keto cookbook I have made some stuff from this cookbook and wholesome yum y'all follow her on Pinterest as well she's got an awesome YouTube channel I mean she's just not recognized enough and I'm loving Maya's stuff, and I love this cookbook. I will link it down below for you guys, but definitely check her out on other platforms. But we're gonna be making her turkey meatloaf Florentine muffins, which by the way, is a Mediterranean keto recipe. Let's go. The freezer challenge, I've got two pounds of ground turkey I thawed out. We've got spinach, mozzarella cheese, some Rayo pasta sauce, garlic, salt, pepper. I'm actually gonna arrange these early in little muffin tins, silicone tins, because I want to be able to focus on a new recipe and get it done and put it in the fridge that way when it's time for dinner I can just pop them in the oven and just make our sides and make our life really easy and I'm not distracted with the mom life when trying to put something together especially it being a new recipe so I'm prepping this beforehand it's going to be delicious and all we have to do is whip up those easy sides so in these turkey meatloaf Florentine muffins I'm going a little extra and using this Trader Joe's Italian style Sarfrito seasoning blend this stuff is fire if you can still find this at your Trader Joe's snag it and snag maybe an extra because it's a seasonal item and I can tell you that in Italian dishes just like the herbs de Provence back there that we love so much guys this stuff is so fire and would be so good on a pizza too but it just enhances any like Italian Mediterranean flavors so I am loving it I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there too y'all saw I used my handy gadget not just good for cookies I use this thing for everything it's so awesome so I put two tablespoons in each one I use the back of a tablespoon and I just push down to create this well, this little cavity. And now we're gonna fill it up with some cheese. I put the rest of our turkey mixture, about two tablespoons each, and I'm gonna pat that down. I have my turkey meatloafs patted down. Now we're gonna put a little bit of Rayo's on top, 
sprinkle some more mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna cover these up and put them in the fridge until I'm ready to bake them. 20 to 25 minutes to bake these bad boys. Marinara and extra mozzarella on top and I went a little bougie and put some of the herbs de Provence since I was talking about it earlier. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells heavenly and it's going to be perfect. I cannot wait to try these later. Turkey muffins are in the oven. So this is what we're doing for a side. So I've got a bag of frozen rice cauliflower. I've already steamed up in the microwave. I've got a little bit of melted garlic, garlic butter by Chef Shammy. Also a little bit of cream cheese I had in the fridge, some leftover. I'm going to whisk that up together at the bottom of my casserole dish. I'm going to put the cauliflower in there with a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, whisk it up, and then I'm going to fold in some bacon pieces and some green onion, salt and pepper, and top it with a little bit more cheese. Put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and we're making like a loaded holly rice. It's going to be awesome. I'm here for it. I just whisked up the cream cheese and the butter. I'm going to add the holly rice and then I'm just going to fold in the bacon and the green onions and then I'm going to just top it with sharp cheddar instead of mixing it and topping it with more cheddar. Um, That looks bomb without the cheese already. So I can't make up my mind and I'm just winging it as I go. So I did add a little bit of cheese. I'm going to stir it up and then add more cheese on top. Cheese on top and you know we had to add a little bit of this herbs de Provence to be a little extra. The turkey meatloaf muffins are out of the oven. We have to let these sit and cool obviously. They say to let them rest in the recipe anyway before we pop them out. Oh man, look at all that cheese. Gotta be bomb. So here they are, popped out of the silicone muffin tin. Don't they look bomb? I cannot wait to try them. Speaking of the tin, I'm gonna have a link down below because I highly recommend you use this. Look how easy it was to clean up. I get, gotta clean a little bit more. But if we did this in a regular muffin tin, y'all know that would be stick hot mess city. And this is so easy to clean up. Love how it's got like the durability rim around this one so you don't have to put it on a sheet pan and it was the perfect size for this. So not just for baking, but for savory too. And wow, these look incredible. Loaded cauli rice is done. Mini meatloafs are done. Getting it prepped with a side salad with gorgonzola, bacon, avocado, cucumbers, lettuce, salt, and pepper. We are using the Primal Kitchen Balsamic Avocado Vinaigrette Marinade. This stuff is so good. I'm almost out, but I have a ton. If you watched my freezer slash pantry tour, I'll link it up above that I need to go through. Tuesday night's dinner all plated up. I have a piece of the Dak Keto Lady cornbread I made last night with the jalapenos. Look at that cauliflower, loaded cauliflower rice. I am loving it. And here for that oh man this is gonna be an epic meal i had to come back on and update you guys this loaded collie rice is absolutely phenomenal make it and then look at the cheese that was stuffed in the center Oh yes, these are bomb. Get that cookbook too. It's got a lot of good recipes. Wednesday night, we are making Alice Springs chicken out of my e-cookbook with over 70 recipes. It's one of our favorite chicken recipes and we haven't had it in a hot second. So I've got some of the Cook's Venture pasture raised chicken from Imperfect Foods, so clean, so great priced over there. Have them linked down below. And we're just gonna do some broccoli florets. I'm gonna make them easy in the microwave, drain it, put some Chef Chamois and Parmesan and call it a day. Another great, quick, easy freezer meal. I'm outside on the Blackstone, got my chicken ready to roll. My griddle is heated up nicely. I added some avocado oil and I just spread it on top of the cooktop. We're gonna put our chicken on here and I'm gonna douse it with a bunch of Tony's Creole seasoning. Tony Sacheries is what we use down here in Southern Louisiana. No Old Bay, y'all. We use Tony Sacheries. It's gonna be bomb. And then we're gonna put all the layers on top. My chicken is seared beautifully. As you can see, it's not cooked all the way. We wanted that. We just wanted to put a searing on there because we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes. I am doing lazy Alice Springs chicken, so I am skipping a lot of my steps. Trust me, my steps are worth it, but I just don't feel like it tonight. So instead of making my homemade honey mustard sauce, which is a million times better than this, again, for the challenge, I'm trying to use things up that we have. We barely use this anymore. I don't recommend it anymore because it has sucralose in it and it's something I try to stay away from except for my bangs. I'm gonna use this for my replacement, slather that on top. And also, instead of using Colby Jack, I don't have any on hand. I have like a barely a little bit of Monterey Jack there. I shredded up some ch sharp cheddar, but I don't have enough so what I'm gonna do is use some of these slices from Sam's Club to get it out of here y'all that is my plan it's just just get things out I'm not even using my real bacon I'm using the crumbled pieces we're just being really lazy frozen 
challenge tonight. So to the broccoli, all I did was steam it in the bag, and then I added a generous amount of this Chef Chamois garlic butter with Parmesan cheese and basil. I get it from Sam's Club. Y'all ask all the time, so that's how much I put in there. We're going to micro-zap this a little bit more, and then I'm going to shave some fresh Parmesan on top, and then add some of our Redmond's garlic pepper that we love so much. Parmesan garlic broccoli. We've got the Dakito Lady cornbread that I added the jalapenos to. Still working on that throughout the week. And there is the Alice Springs chicken. So definitely the honey mustard is thinner because I use that G Hughes versus my homemade when it's much thicker when you bake this. And it probably tastes a lot better because it's homemade versus the bottled stuff. But we just went the easy route tonight. But doesn't that look absolutely delicious easy peasy guys don't make keto Thursday difficult. night's dinner is super basic but we're using a lot of stuff out of the freezer for the freezer challenge so I thawed this bacon I went ahead and made that in the air fryer earlier today so that it was frozen also frozen is the base culture keto bread love this this is the regular one so it's four net carbs a slice I don't mind that because it's the cleanest of the clean ingredients no crappy oils no wheat gluten, nothing. I've got some fresh mozzarella that was frozen as well. I'm gonna put the rest in the container and we're gonna eat this for dinner tomorrow. I'll show you guys. Also in the freezer was the Black Forest Ham from Trader Joe's. The celebrity brand is awesome. Definitely check it out. It is so good and pretty clean ingredients. Some spinach and we're going to make grilled cheese. I'm just gonna throw all this stuff on there. I was going to do kettle and fire soup on the side, but I'm not feeling soup. I'm gonna save that actually for another occasion I have in mind. I'm just gonna do pork rinds and my current obsession dip with it. my grilled cheese I did put a little bit of the primal kitchen chipotle lime mayo this stuff is so good if you have not tried it yet it is my obsession and it is cleanest of the clean put that on there I'm going to be having the porking good smoky jalapeno and cheese I have not tried this flavor from them before they just sent me a bunch of pork rinds for Christmas so thank you porking good and I can't wait to try this one they are the cleanest of the clean ingredient flavored pork rinds a lot of your other ones have maltodextrin so you have to watch and then this is my obsession with dips lately the trader joe's creamy cauliflower jalapeno dip this stuff is life a blend of cream ricotta cheese and parmesan it is so good y'all oh my gosh and especially with pork rinds a lot of y'all have been dipping it with veggies and you don't like it that much but when you dip it with pork rinds it's life i like it anyway but man i am just living my best life with this until the keto cut that grilled cheese was like the best grilled cheese ever like no joke y'all have got to get that base culture keto bread in your life you can get it on amazon you can get it at whole foods and those porking good pork rinds omg like that jalapeno a little spice y'all but y'all know the girl likes it spicy highly recommend even though this was like a basic boring easiest dinner night ever it was tonight is trey's birthday so we're doing pizza night and i'm trying something new so this is supposed to be like a papa john's keto cheesy bread hack i don't even know but i will tell y'all what's in it so it is one cup of mozzarella a fourth of a cup of shredded parmesan one egg some garlic powder and i did put some of the herbs de provence by trader joe's in there we're gonna bake it on 350 degrees for 20 minutes and it's supposed to taste like papa john's supposedly here is the papa john's keto pizza bread cheesy bread i don't even know it smells and looks delicious I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute and cool down and I'm gonna cut it into little breadsticks. I don't know about Papa John's, but this stuff is pretty addicting. With the cheesy bread, we are going to do individual pizzas. So I made an Amy's pizza for the boys. That's frozen when we're trying to clear out the frozen stuff along with these kibosh keto crusts. I'm going to use the kale one and the hubby's going to do the Mexi zucchini. There's one left in there out of the two and we're going to add all the toppings. I've been shredding cheese. We've got rayos. I've got mushrooms, spinach, fresh, fresh mozzarella, 
trying to get everything out the fridge and get it to good use. I've got the kibosh pizza crust in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them up first. Then we're gonna add our toppings. Remember from earlier in the week, I made that barbecue ground pork and we put it over the cornbread. I have a bunch left over, so I'm gonna heat that up and we're gonna use that as our protein source for the pizza. Crusts are out the oven. Now I'm gonna add all the toppings. So there's the pulled or the ground pork. We're gonna do some rayos on the bottom for our base mushrooms, mozzarella, baby spinach. I've got that sofrito by Trader Joe's seasoning that I've been wanting to try on a pizza forever, finally getting the opportunity. Some shredded Parmesan. Is the final product pizza night birthday night so when I tell y'all Saturday is a day that we eat leftovers that's when I pull everything out of the fridge that we have made this week and we eat it and if we don't finish it like these muffins they will freeze beautifully so I will freeze those for a future meal later on and it won't go to waste. So I am like super hungry and it's only 20 minutes to five. We're gonna eat early because I plan on having a hellacious dessert because it's the weekend. Treat yourself. So we've got Alice Springs chicken if you didn't watch in the beginning. We got the turkey, meatloaf muffins, a load of collie rice, and a little bit of green beans. I'm gonna make a plate. It's gonna be delicious. Comment down below if you are all about the leftover life or you are like anti leftovers. It's so curious to see people's thoughts on leftovers. You're either pro leftover or you hate leftovers. Comment below. Sunday's dinner, we're making pineapple teriyaki pork burgers. So just like earlier in the week, I'm using a pound of this Coleman's natural ground pork from Imperfect Foods. And then I've got all of these ingredients in it. I'm using, this is my teriyaki base. This is the Primal Kitchen No Soy Island teriyaki. Now this one is higher in carb. That's why I'm using it today. It is so good though. They make a regular one though that I really love as well. Y'all know I'm a big fan of Primal Kitchen because of the clean ingredient aspect. And if you're dairy free, a lot of their stuff is dairy free. And I'm just gonna mix these up and make them into four patties. I'm gonna try to do four ounces for myself, my mother-in-law, and of course the hubby's gonna be eating. So I do have an unbun for the hubby. I'm just gonna do mine bunless. And then I've got a bunch of sweet potatoes over here because I'm gonna be making some sweet potato fries. No mystery if you watch my carb up videos because we've been obsessed with sweet potatoes and sweet potato fries. If you watch my carb cycling videos, you know this trick already, but if not, I wanted to share. So after I cut up my sweet potatoes and just make them into French fry shapes, as you see here, I put them in some cold water with a bunch of ice and toss it around. That's gonna release some of the starch. So when you go to bake them, they'll be extra crispy instead of being really mushy and soft. That's just a little tip. And I've already got my sheet pan in in the oven to heating up. So that way when I put them on the sheet pan, they automatically start cooking instead of having to warm up the sheet pan along with the potatoes, if that makes sense. It just gives them an extra crispiness that you want when you put them in the oven. So the fries have had their ice bath. I did pat them dry. It's the only pain in the butt about this is you have to take them out, drain them, pat them dry. And then I put two tablespoons of avocado oil. Guys, this from Trader Joe's, if you did not pick this up, it is seasonal. It is my favorite seasoning from them of all time. So so next year I'm going to look like a hoarder because I'm going to stock up on it. This Italian style sofrito is so good. So I just did a couple of pinches of that. And then of course our favorite Redmond's real salt on there, a little sprinkle of that. I tossed it real well. We're putting it on our sheet pan for 425 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. You can put these on broil to crisp them even more. I don't know about y'all, but I like mine almost black. I like them super crunchy. I know some people do not like that, but that's just me with sweet potato fries and fries in general. I like them crispy. Are you a crispy fry fan or a soft fry fan? Like when you go to McDonald's before keto, you were either a crispy fan or a soft fry fan for McDonald's. Comment down below. The girl needs to know.
while the sweet potato fries are in the oven, I took out the pork burgers that were in the fridge to let them get to room temperature before I put them on the blackstone griddle outside. And then I diced up a bunch of white mushrooms that I had left over that we need to eat up before they go bad because I've got two more coming in my Imperfect Foods order tomorrow when it gets delivered. And I've been loving mushrooms on a mushroom kick, but I wanted to get these out. And these will be great on top of the burgers or on the side, whatever. Grilled mushrooms on the blackstone. Oh my gosh, so good if you haven't tried grilled mushrooms. Sweet potato fries with Primal Kitchen ketchup. We've got our sauteed mushrooms on the Blackstone. So good with that Redmond's garlic pepper. There's our burger. We've got one tablespoon, again, of this Primal Kitchen Hawaiian barbecue sauce with the grilled pineapple, a little bit of green onion. It is going to be delicious, guys. Don't make your food like super complicated. Whole Foods Clean Ingredients is the best tasting food this ever. This week's What's for Dinner, y'all. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed these videos. And if you do, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you like these videos. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that all the notifications are clicked so you're the first to know when I upload a new video here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope this video was helpful in inspiring you on how to make keto super easy on a budget and actually doable and stress-free. Y'all have an amazing day. We'll see you in the next one.